Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. On the last episode, we continued to be at Roxbury. Like seriously, I don't know how we've managed to spend so much time here, but it's been, there's been a lot of stuff to do. Two episodes ago, we were in uh, Fallon's department store, which took an entire episode to get through. Last episode, we walked across the street to the station and then came over here to this parking garage. Seriously, I don't know how we've done it, but we've spent two entire episodes in this uh, this little square here. Um, as a reminder, I am still doing the pre-recorded episodes. Uh, so today and tomorrow's episode... ...episodes are pre-recorded. My god, Kate, when we last left off, I was here in the Milton parking garage and was about to choose if I should go through door one, two, or three. I was going to choose three because three is... Uh, three's my favorite number. If you want to call it lucky number, you can, but... Why not just open that one too, Kate? Why not open them all? You have no respect over what I want to do. The piss? I think it was supposed to scare me. It didn't work very well, but alright. So I was going to choose door three. And I... Guess I would have gotten shot. Wow. By two shotguns. So that wasn't particularly safe. <laughs> that was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. She just casually walked away and went, Nyeh! Absolutely amazing. Apparently, she knew which door to go through to not get, you know, killed. Uh... So where are we off to next? I don't know what we're, uh, what we're going to be doing. I don't know, to be honest, what else is in this place, but we're still not to the end. There is still traps, which is <coughs> just completely wild to me, but I'm glad that we, uh, get to experience all this cool stuff. Hidden's not really moving at this point. I think the enemies are dead. I think the enemies are gone. I think at this point... Oh, dear God. I think at this point, it's just a matter of getting through the traps. And, uh, I don't think we can even really set off the traps. What is this? The piss is this. Where does this even go? This is all terribly confusing stuff. Someone live in here? I mean, someone had to have put all this stuff this together. Couldn't have been empty for more than a few days. That's what I was thinking, Kate. Hot there Rodder. Permanently unlock a new custom paint job for your power armor. Reading that now. Really? What? I mean, I think that people would want to have some form of escapism in the apocalypse, man. I think that would go a long way. People value escapism now. People would really, really value it. Uh once the world had ended. So, I can't go through here. I can't... There's no way to, like, blow off... I don't know. I'm just... way too hopeful. Figured I would try. This isn't, uh... This isn't Half-Life 2, unfortunately, but I figured I'd give that a shot. The game is, uh, pushing me towards... this area. Is it... Is the idea that you get to choose just one? I don't know. I'm a little concerned because it looks like... I'm not sure, but it looks like... Activating this button will set this thing off. Which will shoot a mini-nuke. Certainly they wouldn't do that, right? Like, that's... Crazy. Crazy, crazy talk. Well, fortunately, I have Kate with me. Hey, Kate! Hey. Sure, sure. Just keep your shirt on. Go check that out. Yep, I've got it. I mean, if there's a mini nuke about to go off, I don't want to be around here for it. There was a pop. Also, you did that with your mind. I had no idea that you could uh, you could do that sort of thing. Wait. What? That was... Oh! Oh! 
I didn't even... I didn't even realize. Combat armor helmet. Yeah, those are hard, actually really hard to come by, so I'm gonna grab that. Huh. Flamethrower trap. Activate that. So... So you destroy the contents of one room... ...when you choose one of the things. You can't have it both ways. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh... Maybe it would have been possible to quickly get in and disable the bomb, but I kind of doubt it. So the question is now, I've went through this entire parking garage. I found it extremely interesting, uh, definitely entertaining, and also, uh, quite a bit amusing. But now, what? Um... I found the... the stuff for the guy who lived here. But very unfortunately, it looks to me that there's actually no way... ...to exit... ...here, because, like, doesn't this seem interesting? There's some sort of... Like, that- the thing that makes me wonder is, like, is there actually, like, some sort of top floor? I don't know. What do we have here? It goes up to the top. Is someone up here? Oh, come on now. Seriously, after all that? <laughs> There's nobody up here? Now, I could have walked from, um, over there, from Fallon's earlier. I just never did. The door was barred, though, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't have mattered. But I'm officially free. Someone, someone's been having a good time here. They have some nice cars, they have a bike, they have a grill. This drops down here. Goes to the General Milton Hospital, although you can't get in. And then I guess that's that, because I don't think you can get down any further. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call this little thing solved. It was um, it was extremely interesting. I actually I had a lot of fun over here, and as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty much done with this section of the map. However, when I was uh, looking around, I did know this. I have to walk over here to uh, to get to that point, but I did know this. There was a um, a radio tower that I hadn't explored, and I figured that since I'm over here, and since I'm on such a crazy exploration kick, I'm gonna go check it out. Um, I know that, uh, I do have to get to GNN, uh, but I will. Okay, bye. Um, don't think any of the enemies or, uh, anybody over here has respawned. Uh, which is nice. This entire area was- was absolutely, um, crazy. Oh, now there's a boat? There's a boat of- oh, there's all sorts of stuff starting to pop up on the map that I've never seen. Screw it. Let's- let's explore. Let's absolutely explore. The p- <laughs> I feel bad for the viewers that have been crossing their fingers like, When's he gonna get to the Battle of Bunker Hill? It's gonna happen. I mean, like, I'm going for a 100% run of- of Fallout, so... You know, it's one of those situations that you don't really know, uh... What you're gonna get? Be detected, hidden. There was a super mutant broadcast, but it said it was lost. Interesting. Are there enemies over here? Certainly, yes. Right. God, that's the the only downside is that at this point, basically everyone. Oh God, Jesus! I didn't even see that thing. Now you're dead. Like at this point, basically all of the super mutants are the really, really crazy, strong, powerful ones. Wow. This is a heck of a blast. Uh, I think that was- that actually was it. Um... I mean, if you want to call it payday, that's fine. There was a suicide over here, he's already dead. Which, uh... It's good for me, that means I don't have to deal with it. Hmm, bobby pin, a comfy pillow. Once again, <laughs> further shows that maybe they are at least a little bit civilized. Pack of cigarettes, shotgun shells. Oh, this is interesting. Because this is, uh, the West Roxbury Station. This is the place 
or at least has information about the place that we just were. There we go. Spotlight control. Oh. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> I thought we were getting something, like, neat. Like, now we gotta tell you about the secret of West Rock. No, it's just, it controls the lights. Uh, technical document. Uh, I have some things here. It's nice whenever you see things like canned dog food, because that makes sense. You know, they have the... the mutant dogs around. I mean, not anymore, they're dead, but... At least it, uh, it adds up why those things would be here. What the... The piss is this? I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Not a clue. Um, I also do not wanna... I do want- do not wanna know what's up in there. Uh, anyway, so I was, uh... On my way over here... The... Let's see, the star I've been to. That's the Coast Guard Pier. I don't know what that is, it's been too long and I don't remember, but apparently I've been there. I'm gonna mark these locations off, because there's quite... Quite a few of them. And I've got Satan's Eagle because... I don't know what's gonna show up. But I know that basically nothing can stand in my way, if I use this weapon. So this is, uh... How I make sure I don't get in trouble. Egret Tours Marina. Okay. Don't think there's any tours going on now. Is there any sign of life at all? Let's see. There's some ammo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's cool. It's cool. I'm gonna put my gun down. You didn't shoot me, so that's good. Ahem. Kid, I don't know who you are, but you better clear out before I go haywire and blast you. Go haywire? What do you mean? It means I'm a synth, you numbskull. And if you don't take off, I'm liable to put a hole in your head. What makes you think you're a synth? Blackouts. People I've hurt that I don't remember. Any second now, they might send some signal. Or I'll see the color orange. Or whatever it is they do and... Boom! One more dead fool. Now... Are you gonna get out of here, or wait for them to make me kill you? There's gotta be more to this. What happened to make you think you're a synth? Look, you're taking a risk staying here to talk to me. But if that's what it'll take to get you to leave... My grandson Samuel and I were on our own since my daughter died. I managed to get us in on a farm. Hard on these old bones, but it kept us fed. I was on watch one night. I... I don't... I'm sitting there with a gun across my knees, looking out over the hill, and... and, and I think I fell asleep. It, it, it's just... blank. The next thing I remember is the sound of a gunshot shaking me out of it, and Samuel is at my feet, and there's blood everywhere. Hmm. Was there anyone else there? Could it have been raiders? No. When they heard the shot, everyone came running out. But no one saw anyone else but me and Samuel. One moment he was there, and then the next... just... gone. Those little fingers that used to hold my hand. And it's all my fault. You can't imagine what that's like. Can't you remember anything else from that night? No. There was no one else it could have been. It was just me, and him, and the gun. But I guess he wasn't really my grandson. They must have just given me those memories. Because who could have done that to their own flesh and blood? Now you know why I'm here, and why you need to leave before they make me kill again. I'm a synth, and I can't be trusted. Hmm. Can you explain it to me again? Look, I already told you. My grandson Samuel was shot, and the gun was in my hands. Either I'm a synth, and they made me do it, or I killed my own grandson. Hmm. Maybe you are a synth. That doesn't mean you can't change. Don't you get it, kid? I'm too dangerous. I'll just end up hurting someone else. We need good people for the Minutemen. It won't change the past, but 
Maybe you can help some people. You'd still ask for my help? Knowing what I've done? I don't know. Let me think about it. Look, I... I'm sorry I drew my weapon on you, kid. I think you're right. I gotta find a way to make peace with what happened. And I can't keep running from it. Well, that was interesting. So this became a settlement. Excuse me. Hey. Given me a lot to think about. Wow. Uh... Okay, so now we have a new... Settlement. I was definitely not expecting that whenever I found this place. Hi. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me, kid. We managed to talk her out of it. Um, there's a lot of different ways that it seems like that could have went. You could have encouraged her. I'm sure you could have killed her. Um, but now this place is a Fine. settlement. Just do whatever you came here to do and get the hell out of here. And stay out of my stuff. Let's take a look at this terminal. Sure, this can help uh, reveal some stuff. Tour schedule: How long? Uh, Hour-long tours are available starting at 8 a.m. and running every two hours till 4 p.m. Daily fishing tours are available. We have a Java here. Hmm. Uh, personal logs. Let's see here. Had to leave. I left the others three days ago. Had to get away. It wasn't safe for them. Wes tried to wake me up from one of the nightmares, the one where the metal rad roaches climb under my nails and scurry up through the skin into my brain. Before I knew what was going on, I had a gun to his throat. They tackled me before I could do it and said it wasn't my fault, but the looks they had when I said he was wearing my face told me it was time to leave. Nothing left for me there, and I don't want to hurt anyone else. Can't sleep. More nightmares. I'm in the watchtower looking out over the field in the night. It's raining and I see a lantern in the field. Must be raiders out in the corn. I, uh, I sight down the scope and see one of the uh, machine men. It was him by the wrist, dragging him off. I take the shot. It's clean. The machine man falls to the ground. Running through the field to get him, or running, th running through the field to him, I, c I can smell the corn in the rain, but when I get there, it's him on the ground, bleeding, and the machine is gone. I look back up to the tower and see myself standing there, looking down the scope. I dive into the corn as the shot rings out and start to smell blood and oil. Reaching for the gun on the ground in the metal skeletal hand isn't my own. I look down in the puddles of rain and blood and oil at my reflection and see my face start to tear in shreds as my metal hands rip it away. My god. I tried again to end it. I was out on the wharf trying to look through the fueling station when I glanced at the water, he was there in the reflection, my grandson Samuel, and my arm was around him. Then there was a noise and my reflection's eyes glow red, and when it opened its mouth, there is static. Then the static turns into a scream and it puts the gun to Samuel's head and pulled the trigger. I can still feel some water in my lungs, but their programming won't let me end it. My body climbed to the shore on its own. Wait, what? I was out on the wharf trying to look through the fueling station when I glanced at the water, he was there in the reflection of my grandson Samuel, and my arm was around him. Then there was a noise, and my reflection's eyes glow red, and when it opened its mouth, there is static. Then the static turns into a sc My god. That... There... Mmm. Man. Uh, I'm actually kind of glad that there's more to this. Phyllis? <coughs> told you to stay the hell out of my stuff. Why don't you tell me what happened? My grandson Samuel and I were on our own since my daughter died. I managed to get us in on a farm. Hard on these old bones, but it kept us fed. I went through all of this before. It's really weird that that initial dialogue option took me back through this first tree. That's really strange. Like, I have no idea why it would have done that. With that in mind, I don't normally do this, and I know that it's a glitchy mess, but I think I'm actually going to reload, um, just so I can have the conversation that I believe the game intended me to have. For whatever reason, choosing that first option once I had learned the, the truth caused Phyllis to not... to loop back into that original thing. <sighs> glitchy game gonna be glitchy. Alright, so this time... I saw what you wrote. About Samuel. Fine. I guess you might as well hear the whole thing. 
My grandson Samuel and I were on our own since my daughter died. I managed to get us in on a farm. Apparently this loops into the other conversation also? Kept us fed. You claimed you're a synth. I was just looking for some proof. Fine. I guess you might as well hear the whole thing. My grandson Samuel And then it loops into this thing again. So what what's happening here? I finally figured out what's happening. All of the story stuff is behind a charisma check, and this is the way for you to find out what happens without using charisma. That is what this is in here for. Now I understand. Okay. So my wife killed. But I guess that makes more sense. All right, so maybe you. I'm gonna stick with my stuff. We need good people. Even though I've already said all this. All right. Hey, Phyllis. Hey. Okay, so we're now back. <laughs> we're now back where we are. Oh, son of a gun. You. No, 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 no. Hold all this garbage. I need you. You're going to be overloaded here pretty soon. Even my stuff. Like, I have too many stupid things here. Have this mine. Don't use any of this. Have this. Uh, You can have these. You can throw them if you want. I don't care. Um, do I have anything? Yeah, oh yeah, this, and this, and this, and this hard hat. My god, you can carry a lot, holy crap. Okay, so we do have a new arc shop. That entire... I understand why they did that that way. But there should have been a flag or a variable or whatever in there that said, Oh, he, he passed this charisma check and then not let them, you know, ask me about all that stuff again. Because that was stupid. That was really dumb. Uh, but while I'm here, I'm going to continue to explore and see what I can find. That's it. Is there anything in here? Probably don't need a weapon of this magnitude. Um, there could be something upstairs. Is there anything of interest here at all? Ah, uh, there's a few things. <laughs> That's nice. A few little extra goodies here. And I could probably fall and be okay. It's not that far. More ammo. And I think I have... I think I actually have access to, um... This spot over here, too. I have to unlock both doors, of course. There we go. Yes. And this takes us into another area. No enemies? I was kind of half expecting at least, like, one enemy. Oh, look, potted meat. Neat. Does it have any sort of logo or anything on it? Kind of hard to tell. Trying to get it into the light. No? Yes? I just keep wondering if it's that guy that was making the potted meat before. Um... It's kind of hard to... Oh, yeah, actually, it is. I think it says Long Neck Cannery. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it is. I think it's the same guy. Well, there you go. It's pretty interesting. Back to the stork. Is there anything else over here? Not particularly. I haven't gotten to the, um... The radio tower, but there's... A little boat icon over here, which I want to check out also. I'm still finding interesting things. Like, talking to Phyllis? That was really cool. And apparently she's now, I guess, you know, a member of the Minute Men. <laughs> I suppose. I don't know. I I guess she is. Um, but yeah, there's a little boat icon that's further this way, which I might want to check out. I don't think there's anything else over here. That went upstairs, and I, I didn't see anything of interest. Now I'm second guessing that I checked everything, but I'm pretty sure there was nothing of interest. Yeah, it just kind of... There's nothing out here. So I'm gonna jump down here and wander over to uh, find out whatever this boat icon is supposed to be. And uh, eventually, probably by the end of the episode for sure, we'll be uh, on our way over to... Um, on our way over to the GNN building. See if we can do a little scouting here and see what we see. That's weird. Huh. Um, it looks like there's definitely some sort of boat. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone on it. 
So I guess it's safe. Also, I think this was the radio tower I was originally looking at, but there was another one the other way. I'm not going to bother with the other one right now. Let's see. No enemies, really? I don't believe that for a minute. There's Mirelurk eggs everywhere. So this is already... not my favorite thing. Cutler Bend. There we go. I was wondering when we... We'd see you. Crab cakes tonight, baby. God, I shot his face off. And then he went rolling... Kind of a preposterous amount. I'm expecting more. This is... This is... This is just a huge setup, right? For a fight out here against Mirelurks? Uh... Can I hit it? Couldn't hit it. Couldn't hit it. Oh, dang it. Come on, baby. Where's the head? Well, I tried. Kate, will you uh, take care of it? It's coming our way. And it seems mad. Oh, God. Really? Still can't hit the stupid thing? I'm out of AP. Will you take care of this? You're doing great. Oh, I thought- I thought I was like, oh, it drowned Kate, and Kate's- Kate's dead now. You're doing great, Kate. Just keep it up. Let's use that hard hat. Man, she- she swims pretty fast. I'm impressed. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna give you a little help, because it looks like you might be struggling. Good night, Razor Claw. Slow motion fall. Okay, once again, I still don't trust this area. Uh, let's see. A stim pack? That's nice. Uh, cap stash. Turn off the radio. Okay. Still relatively safe. Nothing. Oh, what in the piss? Are you serious right now? That's dead. God, Jesus! You're also dead, because screw you, man. I hate being scared like that. I've been scared... Are there three? Dude, I'm out of crits! I have to shoot you the old-fashioned way. Can you, like... I don't know, can you not? Give me a sec. Oh, you're swimming. That's cute. I can track your... your where you're going, dude. Um... Uh... Hmm... You're not that scary, to be completely honest. Uh, I know that you're- you really got this... This complex about being frightening going on, but it's- it's not working for you, buddy. Come on. Come on. Hop a little closer, sweetheart. So that my- my rate to hit you increases. 65? That should be like... That should be not- 66. Well, that, let's go for it. Gotcha. Taking off the faces. I'm gonna be honest, um... Three? This- this place was a setup. Just, it was worse than I thought. Holy crap. Are there more? Of course there's more. Um... This would be easier if I was up on, uh... If I was up on the little deer stand thing. Good God, Henrietta's helping me out a lot right now, though. So I'm gonna keep taking these pot shots. Come here, butthole. Yeah, that's right, show me your head. <laughs> I'm going close range hunting today. Anyone else? No, I think we're good. Um, let's walk up this and see what we can find. And I'll go back and check that legendary here in a minute. Dirty water. There's some ammo. I haven't been using much against these guys, which is nice. There's a mine up here. Someone really didn't want anyone to, uh... What the hell to come take their- Oh, wow, okay, another legendary. Um... Gotcha! Mutation. Uh, let's go for another shot. Kate, finish it off. You're doing great. Just... Good one. 
VAT's enhanced rapid combat shotgun improved VAT's hit chance, 25% less action point cost. Okay. <laughs> Blood sample, oh boy. You alright? Just take a, take a sit. Uh, I'll take a rib cage. Got these. Uh, da, 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 something over here, yeah. Alright, well this was, uh, this was a lovely place of death. Three Mirelurk Kings. Earlier in this, earlier in the game, that would have scared the bejesus. Well, I mean, it actually, it literally did scare the bejesus out of me. But it, it would have, it would have scared and hurt. Oh, come on. Seriously, get on the, get on the boat. Okay, we're having an issue. Where's the, there you are. Ghoul Slayer's 44 pistol, do you have anything else? Give me this. <laughs> Woo! Try not to drown. Okay, um, just so I don't have to possibly go through that again, let's give myself a quick save and then head over to this tower. Because I am, I am wiping up locations like nobody's business. Screw you, bear. That's, uh, that's an enemy you almost never see. The Yagwe. I, I, like, never see them. I, I, I don't know why. I just must never, uh, be heading to places where they're at. So what is this? Wait, is this it? Wait, isn't that where I'm going? Did I make it? Oh, I think I made it. Someone's mad I'm here. Screw you, gunners. Okay, something's blowing up. Rust Devil. Um... One of these will hit, one of these will kill. The Rust Devils are, uh... Are really ones I don't like to mess with. Um, the Rust Devils themselves aren't the problem, it's the, uh... It's honestly the, um... The robots that they travel with, they can be pretty nasty. I should have known I was gonna miss that. Yep, that's the problem. That's the problem right there. Alright, we gotta- we gotta fix this mess right now. Okay, um... Kinda hard to see you through the- the mini-nuke that I'm now shooting through, but I will do... my... best. Took care of that! Oh my god! It's not a mini-nuke, it's a, uh... It's not a mini-nuke, it's a, uh, friggin' missile launcher, which is actually a lot better, and I can handle. Um, which one of you has the... No? I don't know, but this is another friggin' problem that needs to be dealt with. Sayonara, sucker. Well, mostly. Not entirely, but... Gotcha. So the Rust Devil... Jesus. The Rust Devils also don't like the gunners. So this kind of, uh, helps us out a little bit. I had no idea I was gonna run into, uh... ...run into this place. I thought it was something we were gonna have to, like, fast travel to. But, uh, here we are. We... ...actually wandered this direction, and now we're here. I'm gonna let them help me kill these guys. I have no idea where Kate is. She's probably on fire... ...somewhere. Which one of the guys? There's, like, goo being shot? Pla- uh, some sort of plasma weapon? There's a legendary gunner. Um, I want to get in on this. 34% <laughs> chance to hit. Got it, baby. Man, there's going to be a lot of fighting. Holy piss. Where was that legendary thing? Okay, ow. Where, who are you and where are you and why are you shooting me? Now your head exploded. Don't you feel stupid. Where was that guy? Yeah, there we go. Cavalier synth left arm reduces damage while blocking your sprinting by 15%. Hey, you're gonna have to get up. I'm gonna need some help. Let's see. Heavy robot left arm. Sturdy robot right arm. Hey, could you please wait? Who is that? Is that you? I don't like that. Get out this weapon. It's not as good. But, should work fine. Good night. Build my crit up a little more slowly than using the stork. But it is what it is. Okay, this is a level one. Are you serious right now? Gotcha, bye! Bullet cam! Apparently it broke your arm. There's another guy over here, Gunner Major. Okay, that's a little... ...more serious. 
Level 70, let's take that threat out. Head explode. Gunner Lieutenant, oh my god. Jeebus! Are you serious right now? I feel like the game has really improved my accuracy. Um, I don't feel like I did anything. Oh, there's another one. Oh, hi. Oh, do you have like a stun baton? Okay, well... Come get it. Oh, you oh you found a gun. Oh, that's cool. Guess what? I found one too. Oh, son of a- that would have been so cool to do my one-liner and then kill you. Here, eat this. That killed you? That's sad. Okay, um... Good God. That was something. Let me check the spoils around here. There was quite a few guys that I killed. Heavy robot left arm. I'm gonna take that and study that. Um, cause I wanna know hey. how that compares to, uh, some of the other stuff that I've- I have slash have seen. Um, please tell me you can carry this. Cause I really need you to carry- Ah. <laughs> really? Not at all? Not even a little bit? Not even like, this room cage? Oh, thank God. Um. It's better be worth it. Well, there we go. I'm- I'm good again, as long as I pick up absolutely nothing. Great. Um, there's so much, so much destruction. Some of these guys didn't survive. They're just, they're just blobs. Hello, blob. There was another legendary on this other side. I'm going to be careful to take only the ammo and not the stuff. Because uh, I am, I'm currently sitting exactly at 290. Oh, over here somewhere was the guy... Where were- is it you? Yeah. Acrobats operator's right leg. Um... Now I'm over encumbered. And I- honestly, I-, I let's be honest, I don't need that. And I- I don't really want it. <laughs> so I'm gonna, gonna- store it back on your body. Plasma rifle, that's- that explains what was... happening there. Um... I think we're good. Yeah, this is actually, uh, kind of convenient. This is... This is where we were going. Where is the tower? I never even found it. It wasn't... Unless it's, like, on the roof of this place or something. I don't think so. But... Maybe. Huh. So, this is GNN. Uh, if I look on my data here... Clear Hostels at GNN. That is here. Um... Oh... That tower, yeah, the tower is... GNN. That's what it is up there. I see. I got it. Alright, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next episode, I am going to go into the Gunner's Plaza, and, uh, there was a comment a few episodes ago that said, when you do it, you should really take... This is gonna <laughs> put me over also. Uh, you should really take McCready. Because, uh, McCready used to be a gunner, and for, you know, story purposes, that would be really cool. And I agree, I think that's actually neat. Even though we just used McCready, we didn't use him very much. Uh, especially compared to Kate, who's had a few episodes here. So next episode, we'll switch over to McCready. We'll come in here and raise hell on, uh, on his old friends. And then we'll finally finish Randolph Safe House, which means also finishing, as far as I know, all of the, uh, railroad side quests. Besides the ones that are infinite. Because you can't finish those. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for more Steven Plays Fallout 4.